This article is sponsored by YM Cinema 65, which is a one-of-a-kind handmade stainless steel model of a 65 mm motion picture film camera. The perfect gift for filmmakers, moviegoers, camera lovers, and cinephiles. Dune Part 2 will be screened in IMAX 70mm, but shot digitally. Good news for 70mm enthusiasts. The anticipated Dune Part 2 will be screened in IMAX 70mm, in selected theaters, of course. Say thank you to Nolan's Oppenheimer, but it was shot digitally and not on IMAX film cameras. As revealed and stated by Collider, following the immense success of Oppenheimer, Warner Brothers will follow Christopher Nolan's lead and release the Dune sequel in 70mm. Additionally, according to IMDb, Part 2 is the first film of the franchise to be entirely filmed for IMAX 1.43.1 and 1.90.1. There will be an option to watch it entirely on a 70mm projection. Furthermore, both films share similarities regarding the celluloid process. Both of them were shot on the same camera, Ari Alexa LF. The first Dune was transferred to 35mm film, then scanned back to digital. Thus, the film version of the second Dune will be utilized for film projection, including a 70mm IMAX projection. As you remember, the official Oppenheimer website has published a guide titled Oppenheimer Premium Large Formats, which summarize the best options and movie theaters technologies to watch the film. The guide explained the various formats from IMAX 70mm to 4K digital cinema. Unfortunately, no guide was released regarding Dune Part 2. Anyway, for IMAX 70mm screening, the options remain the same. We can use the same 30 theaters list as published for Oppenheimer, so you will know where to watch the mighty IMAX 70mm film format. Note that not all IMAX 70mm film theaters will screen Dune 2, but we are sure the majority of them will as opposed to Oppenheimer Dune Part 2, like Part 1, wasn't shot on IMAX film cameras. The main camera is the Airy Alexa LF. Strangely, IMAX CEO Richard Gelfond emphasized that the movie was shot with their cameras. We are now doing Dune 2, using IMAX cameras as well. More and more filmmakers prefer shooting with our cameras, Gelfond stated. However, now we know that it was shot entirely on digital. It went through a digital analog conversion for the 70mm format, though. Nevertheless, it's not a real 70mm film, so not so sure if there's a justified need to invest on a domestic flight to watch the 70mm version.